Now that we have seen what we have in the United States, let's talk about how to lose it. Just what would have to change to be sure to lose what we have. Suppose this is the night before a national election. Suppose you sat in this room and saw and heard this. Let me sum it up this way. You are going to vote tomorrow in an election which will do one of two things. Keep our limited government with its constitutional freedoms, rights, and responsibilities. Or change them for unlimited government and a planned economy. We've already amended the Constitution dozens of times. Let's throw it away for a master plan run by a master state. Would you care to reply to that? I certainly would. At this time, there are some 10 million workplaces in the United States where we're free to make 10 million plans. We're free to try any new idea, new product, new service, a, a new anything. But we're all human beings, I'll be right. But we have free choice. We're free to try to make a profit, to just get by or to fail. Some of us do fail every day. But enough of us succeed every generation. We double our production of goods and services. Under a master plan, only be one plan. With just one plan, there wouldn't be any room for a mistake. If anything went wrong with a master plan, the result would be a national disaster. And every man, woman, and child would suffer for Wait a minute, wait a minute. We know all we need to know about how to produce things. What we don't seem to know anything about is distribution. We haven't solved such things as full employment, real security, from each according to his ability and to each according to his need. Sure, that sounds good. But how are you going to do it? We're already on our way. We've partly socialized incomes. We're going ahead and socialized property, too. Let the people own the means of production, transportation, and communication. Let the people have full employment and full security. But what price freedom? You talk about full security, full employment. Well, you can have that in the penitentiary. I'm here tonight because I believe in the right of an individual to be able to choose the kind of job he wants, with the company he wants to work for, in the part of the country he wants to live in. Yes, sir, freedom of choice right down to the brand of cigarettes he smokes or doesn't smoke. Government can't control everything without controlling me what I can say and what I can't say. And I mean police control that tells me where I'll work, where I'll live, and all the rest of it. Just words. The people know what they want. Vote against the old, ruthless, sick American economy with its private property and its so-called free competitive enterprise. Vote for the master state with the master plan. Our time is almost up. But tomorrow you'll be able to vote to keep what we have or to change for a total economy where everything will be run according to a master plan. For or against the master state, under the master plan. Thank you, and good night. Well, what do you think? I'm for it. I'm tired of being kicked around. I think it sounds wonderful. He said it would mean full employment. That's something. Just think what that means. Full security. Why shouldn't the government take care of us? I'm afraid I, I don't understand it very well. Well, the way I get it, everything will be planned. And the whole country will run according to the plan. What's wrong with that? They talk about free enterprise. Private enterprise. I, I am sick of listening to them. I'm going to vote for them. Well, I am, that's for sure. I guess I will, too. Good news. Workers in some mass production industries are about to be quickly moved to new locations so that under the master plan, the right man will be in the right job at the right time. Here we are. It's a nice home, Bob. Yes, but I wonder how they're going to take it. Hey, this your house? Yeah. 
Here. Two families going to live here. You're being transferred. See, it's all right What do you here. mean? I'm not looking for another job. Well, how should I know? Don't yap at me, brother. I don't get it. So you don't get it. Ah, oh, good morning. Ask him. He's the party man. Hey, what is this? Well, uh, this is correct. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I like it here. I don't want another job. Well, it uh, it may seem a little rough at first, but uh, in the long run, it will be better for everybody. But when the truck is unloaded, you can take your personal things, and uh, we'll move you and your family. I I live here. I work here. Yes, I know, but that plant's been closed temporarily. It has. You mean I I've got to drive to another state right now? Tom, wait that minute. What's going on here? We've got to move. Move? Haven't I got anything to say about this? Well, uh, what do you want to say? Well, I've got some right. Mm, of course you have. Okay, come on, folks. We need your house for two families now. And they'll uh, use your car, too. What? You better start now to get your things together. Okay, folks, inside. Oh, Tom. Now, 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 don't be worried. You'll only be out of employment for a day or two. Wait a minute! You can't do this to me! Government can't control everything without controlling me. What I can say and what I can't say. And I mean police control. It tells me where I'll work, where I'll live, and all the rest of it. We worked so hard. Now we've lost our house. Our car. I didn't even get a chance to finish the new curtain. Tom, what's happening to us? They say we'll get government certificates for all private property. Can't we go to court or go to somebody? Hey, how far does this go? About 300 miles. No, I mean this plan. Oh, the plan. All the way. Everything's going to be better under the plan. Yeah? Don't be like that. You're going to like it, see? I'm going to like it. Could I ask a question? Sure, why not? Our, our baby, she's never been baptized. Does that mean that... Look, I'm not a full party member. I'm just driving this truck. I don't know what they're going to do about churches and stuff like that. But you better button your lip. Just remember it's all part of the plan. What are you yapping about? You voted for it. Of course... It would never happen this way. Real freedoms are eaten up a little at a time while government controls are slipped on, while the real power is collected into a few hands. Where government is not limited, no man is free. Change limited government to unlimited government, and our rights would be only what the master planners say they are. No longer the servant of the people, Government would be the master of the people. That's the way to change what we have. Take all power and all freedoms away from the people and collect everything into the hands of one small group with absolute power. But, and think about this, we would have the same manpower, the same brains and muscles we had before, but without our present incentives and opportunities. And that would change something else. Tools always come from savings. Government has nothing it does not take away from the people. With unlimited government, whether they wanted to or not, force would have to be used to take away our savings, just to get the tools they must have to carry on production. It's the difference between force and freedom. Nobody in his or her right mind would willingly sacrifice freedom for the iron discipline of a regimented state. It can't allow individual freedom, such as our free choice as customers. In a free economy, we are all each other's customers. Every farmer and rancher is free to farm or not to farm. Free to work for himself or for somebody else. Free to save and buy his own land, his own seed to invest in more and better tools, free to sell what he produces for a profit or a loss. Every worker in this country has the right to live and worship and work as he chooses. 
It's as simple and fundamental as the right of workers to work and to bargain for their wages and working conditions. The right of management workers to manage, savers to invest. And the right of all of us freely to buy and sell. All this is part of what we have. Freedom for all is the key. We have the fastest growing, most powerful union labor force on earth. We have the best management on earth. The power of our freedom reaches all of us. We'll take up more of our great problems later. But when you look around and think about what we have, don't forget for a moment that we do have more individual freedom. We're better clothed. We're more comfortable. We're further from starvation than the whip of the police state. We're far better off than the rest of the world. We have our great men and women, and we have some flannel mouth fools too. We all want to live in a better world. We all want to have more. But there's no mystery about what we have or how to lose it. Let's look straight into this one. Let's talk about how to lose what we have and what that would mean to you.